here we have some problems about probability. And probability is just figuring out the odds of something happening, the likelihood, how probable something is. In this problem here, it says, if a randomly thrown dart hits the board below, what is the probability it will hit the shaded region? And then we've got this kind of weird looking dart board. Um, and part of this is shaded and part of it's not shaded. What you want to do to figure out the chances here, since there's an equal chance for the dart to hit anywhere on this board, is figure out how much total space there is in terms of a number of chunks or units, and then how many of those chunks are shaded. You can see they've got it divided, well, they've got it divided a couple of ways. They've got lines going across this way, and they've got lines going diagonal this way. So if you counted all the individual triangles, there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, would be shaded. So that would be six out of eight. And then what you would want to do is reduce that. Before I do that, though, I'm going to look at just these boxes and ignore the diagonal lines, because I can kind of see we've got one, two, three, four boxes, and three boxes are shaded in. So it would be a three out of four chance that a, a, a dart would hit the shaded area. And actually, if you reduce 6 over 8, it becomes 3 out of 4. So that's our answer. There's a 3 out of 4 chance that a randomly thrown dart is going to hit the shaded area. Let's try one more here. All right, this one says if you spin the spinner, what is the probability that the pointer will land on B? And we've got um, a bunch of letters here and in these pie-shaped wedge pieces. First thing to do is count up how many possibilities there are. So I'm going to count up all of these wedge-shaped pieces. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I want to count how, how many chances there are for it to be B. And it looks like we've got four I's, a Y, a G, and two B's. So there are two chances out of a total of eight that the spinner would land on B. We can reduce this fraction, though. I can take a 2 out of the top and bottom, and that would be 1 fourth. So it's a 1 in 4 chance that the spinner will land on B. And then we've got one more down here. It says a single die is tossed. What is the probability of rolling a number greater than 3? Well, we've done problems with, with dice before, and we know that the probability of getting any single number is a 1 in 6, because there are 6 sides on a die. But this question asks, what's the probability of getting a number greater than 3? Well, what are the numbers greater than 3 that are on a die? There's a 4, and a 5, and a 6, and they're each on one side. So there are 1, 2, 3 chances out of a possible 6. So it would be a 3 in 6 chance, and we can reduce that, take a 3 out of the top and bottom, and we get a 1 in 2 chance. So those are some questions about probability.